Hi, my name is Keely and I work here at Clipfolio. Today I'd like to talk about our hyperlink functionality in our system and specifically how you can pass variables using a hyperlink into other dashboards in your set of dashboards. So I have the dashboard set up here with two clips on it. In the first clip I'm using standard use of hyperlinks where I'm linking out to an external website. So in this case I'm going out to the Clipfolio website uh, with a hyperlink like that. You can do that here, I'll just quickly show you in the editor, by simply setting up a URL, specifying the URL that you want to go to, in my case it's clipfolio.com, and setting the format to hyperlink. And that allows you to then click out to the content that you want to go to, external to Clipfolio. Uh, but another interesting case that you can use hyperlinks for is to link within the application itself. So here I have a table that's showing me a set of states and units that have been ordered to those states. I want to see more details on the specific order so I can click on an individual state and go to a more detailed tab which shows me the individual order IDs and the units specific to those orders. I can use hyperlinks as well to go back to the original tab and then I can click on maybe another state like Texas and see the orders that are associated with Texas. In order to do that, these clips here are using a variable called state, and in their formula they're selecting their data based on that variable value, whether it's Texas or California or whatever state it is. So I need to set that variable value for them, and I do that in the hyperlink. So I'm going to go into this clip and take a look at how we do that. So in this clip I have two sets of links. One has individual names for each link and the other one has a click here. So let's look at this one first. So by default when you set up a hyperlink you can specify in the properties the format to be a hyperlink and then as well you can give it a label and when you do that it just simply labels all of the hyperlinks in your column or whatever component you're using based on that label. I should mention that hyperlinks are available with map components, table components, label components, other components like that. So the syntax for creating a hyperlink in this case is to use the number sign tab, the keyword number sign tab, a dash, and then to put in the dashboard ID. In order to get the dashboard ID, what I usually do is I go to the dashboard that I want. In this case, I'm just going to go to New Mexico. And I just go to about this dashboard. And from there, I can get the ID that I want to link to, which is a dashboard ID. So going back into the editor, you can see that again. So the keyword number sign tab, a dash, then the dashboard ID that you want, and then the question mark to pass in the query parameters that I want to pass in with this. So in this case, I have another keyword called param with a colon. And then I specify what I want to pass in. What I want to pass in is a variable called state. So you can see it says state. And then I put an equal sign there. And then I associate the values with that. So in this case, um, this first row, I associate New Mexico with it. And I'm getting that from column B in my data source. The second row, I'm associating Texas with that hyperlink. California with the third one. So in that way, when we click on this link, the variable state gets passed in. And the value associated with that is dependent on the values here in this data source. The other way to do this if you want to name the links individually is that same syntax, so the tab, dash, uh, the ID, and then the parameters that you want to pass. So in this case, it's the variable state and the data I want to associate with it. I can prefix this with other data and a pipe or vertical bar symbol to individually name each one of these links. So in this case, again, I've used column B in my data source, which is my state, to actually name each link in accordance with the state that it is. So the New Mexico link is now named New Mexico, and the Texas link is named Texas. So canceling out of here again, we'll just take one more look at that functionality. So again, I can go back from this tab to my main tab, and then I can click on any one of these and get a detailed look at the orders for that specific state. And that's a look at passing variables using our hyperlink functionality. Thanks for watching.